<laughs> Good morning, Andrea. Well, hi, Danny. How are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm so excited to be here. ET week. Um, Thank you for showing up. An amazing idea. I can't wait to watch all the shows on ET week. And I'm so happy to be here talking about it. <laughs> Good so <laughs> I know, and and you didn't wear your spacesuit or anything. Do you see my you see my poster? That it, is amazing. It's an it says an old time. It's an old time space guy. Old timey and space guy. A, Look what I brought. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> Mystic, the Mystic Martian. Martian Oracle deck by Lisa Porter. So uh, yeah. Scott got that deck, and of course I had to copy. So I think this is what you're doing. You're getting a a, a galactic federation together <laughs> <laughs> to talk about all this stuff. <laughs> I think so. I think so. Uh, and it's you know I the idea came to me, and I go yeah I should do this, and then. And then I start seeing all these other shows and I said, I need to do this now or yeah. it's other people are going to jump on and then I'm not going to do it. And the way, what I wanted to, to show is because just the different evolution of um, being able to notice ETs around us. Mm -hmm. Some people talk to ETs do you? I haven't yet that I know of. Me, well, me in, in a way, I'll explain my experience. Um, okay. Experiences. Have, have you ever seen, have you ever seen an ET like, hey, how you doing, buddy? Or, <laughs> so, no, I not neither. like that. I, I, I've had two experiences recently. Now, you know, I'm of a certain age and I've always believed in aliens because it just made sense to me. How could we be right. the only planet on earth? i uh, sorry, only planet in the solar system with life form. It never, as a child, that never made sense to me. Like, how could we be the only one? I think right. this, it's statistically pretty much improbable. It's possible, but I think it's mm -hmm. improbable. Um, so uh, I obviously have been psychic since a child, very open, um, uh, getting messages, dreams, all this kind of stuff since a child, just knowing stuff. So I would say my first experience, if you want to go way back, is as a child. And the one thing, and I know it sounds weird, but <laughs> is that, you know, when you you change the dial on a radio, like an old fashioned radio, let's say, and you hear that shh static in between that that as a child scared me in a sense that I knew that there were messages coming through in that part so and I've had premonitions or understanding years back that come true years later and I didn't understand them at the time so now that we're hearing about radio waves coming from space and stuff. I'm wondering if that's something I understood that the messages could come through the radio waves. So that is something I've always been aware of. Now, have I heard anything? No, because I'm afraid to listen, <laughs> it, you know, but now maybe I'm not, maybe I'm ready to turn the dial. Right. Right. And see right. what I hear. Cause I feel the messages will come through. Not maybe not to everybody, but maybe to me, I will get it. Maybe other people. Yeah. So that is was sort of my first, um, because I I didn't I wasn't afraid that it was a human that was going to talk through it. I knew it was going to be something else. Et. Yeah. Right. And that is a child. That's yeah. as a child I understood that. So fast forward many well just a few years later <laughs> to present day me. And I've always so I've always was your hair. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Was your hair as good then as it is now? Pretty much, pretty much. Okay. <laughs> and you, your hair was it that spectacular? Um, no, it's it, now it's it's better. Oh, nice. Because it was like that short. 
Oh. <laughs> it's really short. So, so since a child till now, I've always looked up to the sky and said, you know, you know, wanting to see a UFO for my own eyes, right? I have not, to my knowledge, I have not seen one or I don't remember seeing one. So I don't remember right. that. But I think now with everything, you know, I feel my gifts are getting stronger. They're getting more varied. I feel like I'm, I'm starting to be able to do other things that maybe I wasn't doing before or, or stronger. Right. Perhaps this is something now that is also coming into play. So I've had, I had two dreams last year that were really strong and profound and two this year. And I'm just talking like a couple of weeks back that these dreams are really, <laughs> they're kind of life-changing and they're shocking in value. So the, the two last year, I was able to see them in the dream um, and other people couldn't. See them? See aliens and spacecrafts okay. on okay. earth. So what I saw in my dream is that they're already here. They're just cloaked. So we don't see them. Or it's maybe it's a dimensional thing. I'm not sure, right? Mm -hmm. um, but within the dream, I was able to see them. And they were startled that I could see them because everyone else couldn't. That was in the dream, right? This like regular life here, right? And, and they were like shocked that, that I could see them. And so those dreams were really, now again, those were dreams. So take it or leave it, but that's what I could see that they're already here. They're just cloaked or it's a different dimension, right? So it's, it's here right. and it isn't, it's only if you can see it. Yeah. So there was that. And then just a few weeks ago, two dreams have happened. <laughs> I got chills. I got chills on that. <laughs> did you? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> so a couple of weeks ago, I had in the middle of the night, I woke up. Now, we all know you can have a dream and you're dreaming within the dream and you wake up in the dream and then you really wake up in life. I've had those dreams. This one, I'm calling a dream because I'm nervous because <laughs> I don't think I was dreaming. I know I was awake. But in fact, I know I was awake, so I call it a dream. I sat up in my bed and I could see something. It was like three figures. I couldn't make them out. They were kind of in shadow. And they were, they had this sort of display. You know, the Matrix uh, movie, yeah. all the, the green um, letters or whatever that go. Code, yes, computer code. code. Right. Yeah. So for me, <laughs> this was how, I know I was awake. There's no way I wasn't awake, but you know, maybe I was asleep, but there's no way. <laughs> The code was happening, but it was coming in sideways, right? So it wasn't like this, it was like this. And it was, it, it seemed like it was handwritten or in a, in a, in a language that I didn't understand. So I, it's not a language, English or, or sorry, earthbound. Right. Um, that I would understand. And they were showing me this and I, and this was happening in my room in the dark, this green stuff going across like it was almost like it was a message that I was being supposed to understand I was so scared <laughs> I was so scared <laughs> because I knew I was awake and so I said no go 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 no go and it went away and then I lied down and I'm like just pretend you were asleep <laughs> And my heart's pounding and I'm just like, just go back to sleep. Just go back to sleep. But I know I was awake. And then the same wow. thing happened uh, about a week ago. Oh, awake. I know I was awake and I could see this sort of entity with this green, this green. And you know what is so freaky? So this deck that I just got, Look at the sides of the cards. This is the green. Yeah. This is the green. This is the bright color green that I was seeing. So I don't know if these cards are going to start telling me alien messages or not, but so I would uh, say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is scary because if you actually see aliens, 
in your waking state, I think that's going to be life changing. There's no going back, right? So I think because then there's just no going back. It will change everything you understand that you've been taught to understand in right. on earth. Right. So I don't know if it's a little bit of meat. Well, obviously it is that I'm not ready, but I think it's, it's gearing me up to be prepared for this. So going back to um, what some, some of my family members will say about you, They'll call you crazy. Yeah. You see aliens, you're crazy. Is that a fear for you? No. That someone's, have, okay. No, anyone that knows me my entire life knows that I'm a little different, right? Uh, a little. <laughs> well, my, you know, because, okay. how do, because I know stuff and I right. so I'll just tell people in life, like I, you know, this is the answer. And they're like, well, how can you know that? I'm like, cause I just know. So everyone's like, how does she know this stuff? <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. So, so they're already calling you crazy a little bit, and and um, yeah, and let's and, say they, you know, say I'm different. They would know that I'm different. Than okay. They have well, right my now. family, my family, they're yeah. hillbillies that call you crazy. Crazy. Yeah. So, and and that's that's what you know they'd probably call me um, if they knew. <laughs> Don't right? say anything. Um, but so the fear though, and I'm just trying to get to, to the fear. So, um, cause for me, I felt that, you know, I want to just kind of keep it quiet, keep it on the download because I don't want people thinking that I'm crazy or I'm nuts. And now I'm feeling like, well, okay, it's too late for that. That's kind of what I'm feeling. Yeah. Um, even though I did have somebody just the other day say, you know, if you talk to people like some of the homeless people do, they need to be locked up. So when you start talking to people that aren't there, you need to be locked up. And I looked at her and I thought to myself, lady, if you only knew. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the people around. Never mind. Um, but here's the thing. But, I'm already psychic. Like right. I'm all yeah, I already am tapping into stuff already. Sure. So sure. So what's the fear of you tapping into you already tap into the unknown. So, you're right. what's, so what is my fear? What's what's the fear? Like I think it's it's just that it's there's just no going back. Like that that's that's like the final frontier. There is and I know that it's true. <laughs> it's just there's a part of me that's just a bit nervous about it because I don't really care what anyone thinks if they, you know, I mean, there are, they can already mock me for being a psychic. So, well, that's your problem. Cause I know what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. Um, is there, is there, um, uh, and, and that was just me being, you know, kind of stupid asking, asking that question a little bit. And, and you I know, think but part of it too is, is it like, am I hallucinating? Am I really seeing this? Right. right is there is yeah but so then but I'm again thinking, was I really asleep or was I awake I know practically that I was awake but mentally or emotionally I'm like I think I was right asleep. <laughs> but you see but you see things in the cards that other people don't see so right. and that doesn't scare me that doesn't that doesn't scare you is there a protection that you can put on Mm -hmm. or have with you so that you won't be scared going into right I into so I, I have said a couple times um out loud if you're gonna present yourself don't make it scary right like yes right because and maybe it's from a past life maybe I was scared before I don't really know right there's the guy, maybe you should ask his name, um, is Akashic Attunement, um, Bob. You could I ask him about, <laughs> yeah, you might have. Um, that's an interesting thing. Has there been a past life that is, and I'm hearing no, I'm hearing that it's this, um, that, that where we are, because I'm with you right here. I mean, I, 
this is following exactly my path in the ET revelation. It's like, don't scare me. I want to see you. I, I want to communicate. I want to hear what you have to say. And maybe I'm not saying why I want to do it. It's mainly, it's a, a curiosity. Um, and I go, you can't scare me. <laughs> and in shamanic cultures, um, when we journey, um, there's, if, if we go up to the upper world to ask for uh, a healing spirit or a helping spirit, a lot of times the instructions will be, allow me to see a helping spirit in human form. So we use our imaginations that the human form comes through, but it's still probably an ET. Quite possible. Uh, right. right. So I'm just, I'm just, you know, trying to figure out why we um, are so scared of seeing ghosts and things pop up. Is it because of Hollywood that they always portray it as? But I say, if, you know, if the aliens wanted to destroy us, they would have done it already. Yeah. They would certainly have the power. And I also think, much like with humans, there's probably good and bad in the ET world, right? There's, I'm sure right. there's wonderful groups and not, and then maybe there's some that's not so great, right? Mm -hmm. Or individuals within. So you're right. What is the fear? Because I see orbs, like sometimes there's orbs when I do readings and people have seen right. them or I see it on the screen and that doesn't scare me at all uh not isn't not that all. strange yeah like not well it, it kind of like oh it's kind of like interesting like wow this is really happening but it's very it doesn't scare me and um, it's it's like it, it you know one of the things too um because um there, there's a lot of readers that have a lot of orbs around them and some play tennis with them <laughs> <laughs> kim intuitive yeah, kim. she's amazing she says she's just surrounded in orbs yeah. It's and fantastic. so, so um, one of my first readings, somebody said, when I put it on YouTube, hey, you got an orb flying. I go, what? And so um, after watching Kim bat these, you know, play back badminton with these orbs, I said, I'm, I'm going to invite them in um, to, to see if, if I can do that. Well, well, they didn't show up that they were still having fun over at Kim's, I guess. Yes. But when I see them, I'm like, Oh, that's so cool. This is great. Right. But, so yeah, it could be just, you know, like, like we said, we're on our path and everyone is at a different stage. Right. And everyone's mm -hmm. gifts are different. So some people can see aliens, let's say, and some people haven't been able to do that yet. Right. Or maybe they won't. It's, it's, it's not a bad thing if you can't do something. Like if you can't read cards, that's okay because your gift is something else. And maybe sure. you learn cards another day, right? Right. So what is it? Yeah, that I think it's, I think part of it is that I was raised uh, sort of by a very scientific uh, parent. Uh, who, when I would talk about this stuff, was always like, no, it, that's, the science doesn't. <laughs> doesn't permit that. Doesn't permit yeah. that. So I was brought up in a very sort of, um, let's call it logical household. But I knew I had my gifts. So at some point. You must have drove them crazy. Well, yeah. And, you know, I would explain <laughs> to them. I'd be like, I dreamt all of this in order and then it would happen. Right. And then it, the answer would be, oh, well, you know, you just had really good intuition today or something. I'm like, <laughs> it's beyond intuition. I mean, it is intuition, but it's much bigger yes. than what they thought it was. Yes. Yes. So maybe seeing an alien, an ET, is really going to rock my foundation that I grew up in, even though I know I'm different and I have different beliefs than than maybe where I grew right. up in or society. Right. But like, it just feels like there's no going back. If I was to see one in real life, in awake, like if one just showed up here right now, 
that I could see, there's no going back. Your life would change at that moment. Don't you think well, like it, because um, the, it's such a big, a great big awareness of far more well, that, things than this earth. Well, I'm not sure. I'm, I mean, that's a, that's a great question because we both agree that, that they're there. So um, my dad said he saw a spaceship. Wow. I've never seen a spaceship. I haven't either. So no, from the earliest ages, my dad has said, oh yeah, they're out there. Um, he saw them when he was flying planes in World War II. Whoa. And he goes, yeah, the, right what? next to him. Yeah, so he's flying his plane and right next to him, and he goes, there's this spaceship. And he's looking at it and he's going, guys, do you see this? And they go, yeah. And then spaceship just kind of like took yeah. off. And it was interesting. He would never talk to me about his war stories, but he did tell me about ETs. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of interesting. That is so interesting. if you, if to me, it feels like if one were to present itself and just show up, it would be um, it would be just like another thing that I didn't understand that I have now I, I get to learn about. So I don't think I, I so maybe I don't maybe we weren't ready before. Yeah. Maybe it won't be scary now or right. Well, I, mean, I, I if know it happens that in the middle of the night, that's scary. So I need them to show up in the daytime when I'm calm, like not in the middle of the night, waking me up with some green information. <laughs> so it could, you know? could happen right here and would be okay be right something? here on this. <laughs> this would be the time if there was to, someone show up. This would be the time because it would make sense. We're talking about it. It feels yeah. a safe environment. Yeah. So where are they? <laughs> right. Your right shoulder. My right. Your right shoulder. No, the other right. Oh, the other right? That one. This one? Yeah. So I guess is it. Yeah. Anyway. Maybe they um, appear in a certain, when I'm in a certain dimensional stage. So I, for me, when I am just fall, about falling asleep or just waking up is when I really could tap in to information. Yeah. So maybe that is why that, maybe that's when they show up as I'm waking up or as I'm falling asleep, because that's when I'm clear to see those kinds of things. I don't know. So when you do your dream exercises, right? I don't know if you call them exercises, but you, you, on your channel, you say, Hey, we're doing a dream meetup. Yeah. yeah. Now here's an have interesting you ever, point. Have you ever met up on a planet? Well, the last one we did was the moon. So I said, hey, everyone, let's meet up on the moon. Pretty, I thought no one owns the moon. That should be pretty neutral. <laughs> you know, almost all of us weren't allowed to go there, had trouble getting there or saw some things. So I saw some glass buildings sort of almost reaching the dark side of the moon is where I saw these right. other, other people <laughs> I mean, you can go back and watch it. So I would say with that one, I thought it was a failure because we couldn't get there. But what we, <laughs> I think the message was, you're not supposed to be here right now. You're not supposed to see what's going on here. I think it was a polite uh, uh, go home. You're not supposed to see this. So maybe there's stuff going there now happening. Right. Probably, yes. Well, you know, and we read on that too, on the dark side of the moon yeah. with certain military aspects going on. Yes. Um, so, and maybe you should pull one of your cards to see, hey, where should we go in the next dream meetup? <laughs> on like a planet? I don't, know. I don't know. Yeah. 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 So it, it I also, the other I thing also too, saw them when we did the meetup in Antarctica. I saw spaceships in there. Oh yeah. Um, but I didn't see I didn't see creatures. So we'll call them creatures ETs. So that the 
two dreams I had last year was I could see them as plain as day. I actually, I think it's the first time I could see them, what they look like, not just ships. And then whatever happened, (laughs) I was sleeping a couple of weeks ago. I don't know what that was. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, you know, when I, when I sense them, I don't see features or anything. I just get like an out, uh, 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 not an uh, not a sharp outline, but a real just a a gradual shapeish type thing. That's what happened um, here. So when I but when I saw them in the dream, I guess they were kind of like that. So that was two years ago. Yeah. They were kind of, but I think they were more brown than gray. Um, but maybe they were gray. That's they kind of look like that. Um, I don't think they had clothes on, but and I don't know what happened in the room. <laughs> In my room. I don't know what yeah. they look like. <laughs> they were quite. But you big. know, when you talked, tall. Yeah. When you when you talked about um, Antarctica, mm-hmm. it's like, well, well, yeah, there are spaceships there, and I'm yeah, like, I well, the how, do, how do I know that? Well, <laughs> they're because they're spaceships there. They're right? going to find them. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, so I and because I mean, that's cause... where soup. That's where oh. Superman has his crystal his, cave. Um, crystal cave. I loved. Didn't you resonate with that? When I saw the crystal cave, when Christopher Reeve went in and that crystal cave happened, I'm just like, yes, that's home. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> that's where I want to live. And I don't know if it's Antarctica or, or North, but anyway, right. yeah, it, that was pretty cool. That was so I guess cool. I you know what I, I'm glad we're t- talking about this fear kind of stuff because I'm sure there's a lot of other people watching this who might feel the same way. So we're kind of in our infancy stage of understanding this where there's others. <laughs> um, you're going to have Dr. Gale on who's sort of uh, really enveloped in this, right? Far more. And I it'll think. be interesting to see, you know, where her fears um, yeah. were yeah. in the very beginning of this. Um, I hope I remember to ask. Um, I should, if I write it down, that, that may help. You might remember. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, might. And, um, uh, you know, there's just, for me, again, you just look at the number of people who have actually seen or experienced an ET situation. There's too many. Right. There's too many. It's not one, it's not seven, it's not a hundred, it's thousands of people for decades. Right. It even goes back in historic texts and things like that, right? Where they yeah. were trying to describe what they saw in the sky, you know, and we're trying to understand what they're describing now, thousands of years ago or whatever. Sure. So it, there's just too much. And just because I, let's say, haven't had that experience, doesn't mean it isn't true. I'm, I don't, I, I, there's a lot of people on this earth who, if they don't experience it, is it isn't true. Well, I don't subscribe to that, right? Right. Like I right. haven't been to Antarctica, but I know it's there. I don't need no, to it's go not. there. To, no, <laughs> it's not really there. No, <laughs> it's not. So spaceships aren't there people. either. Yeah, there's right. too many people. There's too many people who have passed lie detector text, tests talking about it. There's there's just too many. There's so just because maybe I haven't experienced it doesn't mean or mm-hmm. I haven't experienced it yet doesn't mean it isn't true. I right. went to see Shirley MacLaine talk. I think she's a hoot and she's into <laughs> all this kind of stuff, too. Right. You remember Shirley yes, she MacLaine, is. She's the actress? Yeah. 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 So at this lecture and she's talking about. I think it was Peru, the president of Peru or something like that. She would go and visit. And he said, yes, it's, there's, there's UFOs here all the time. All the time. And so she's seen them now, just because I haven't. And then people will maybe label her crazy. Well, why is she crazy if she saw it and you didn't? It doesn't make sense. Yeah. There's just there's exactly. too many people, too many people. Too, uh, yeah, it, it just and sure, yeah. some might be stories. Okay, fine. But there's too many people. Right. And look at Area 51. Like, stories like that don't just happen for no reason. Something went on there that's they're trying to cover up. 
But and there's was, another area in the Midwest too that um, I think Dr. Gale was talking about on on one of her shows because she's been with on Medium Kim's show a couple of times and uh, Allie Heart and Soul. So Dr. Gale is getting out there and she was talking about some Midwest place. So another thing to ask her ask about. Her, yeah. Um, <laughs> And you know the the thing that you know when we're ready to when we're ready to see them, um, a lot of times. So this is what's going on in my thought process just in the last day or two. Um, I I want to I want to have one. I want to talk to it. I want it to show up here now on this show. Yes, please. Um, Yes, please. Um, is it is it something that you want so much that you're pushing it away? Does that make sense? Um, you're, I don't. You're, I get what you're saying, but I don't think that's my case. So, um, it may it you know, and I'm just looking at that. So for me right now, I've said you don't have to show up now. Yes, you do. No, you don't have to show up now, today, right here. Um, just show up whenever. I'm just going to let it go. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to still keep that channel open. I'm just going to have it open. And when it's time for you, you know, when you're in the neighborhood yeah. and you want a cup of coffee or something, come on in. Otherwise, you know, um, whenever. And because, so I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I, going, I don't know. See, maybe there's a question maybe for Gail. Is there a way? So I know how to open myself to, to read the cards and, and that kind of stuff. Maybe there's a different way to unlock the door that I'm not doing. Yeah. Right. Right. Maybe there's right. something she can teach us. So, you know, her and I have chatted in the past and, you know, privately. And she has seen an alien that has been with me for a very long time who adores me, but I haven't been able to see him yet. And I tried and I tried meditating and I just, so then you kind of feel like a failure because, you know, if it's there. So then I did what you did. You just sort of release it and be like, okay, whenever the time is right, right. Um, right. wherever it is, uh, and whatever I'm ready. So they might be, they might only do it when we're ready too. Yeah. Is that the alien over your right shoulder? <laughs> this right or this right? That, the, the second right. Are you talking about my picture? No. <laughs> do you see something behind me? It's just a little color. Really? Truly? Yeah. What color? Green. Is that my sweater? Could be. Do you have a hunchback? No. <laughs> Igor. No. Okay. Um, Maybe there is something there. Well, yeah. Uh, that, I, yeah. I mean, I see uh, a green energy around you. So really um, more on this side here. Yes. Correct. Wow. Well, I got goosebumps. Uh oh, yeah. Wow. So, so, and, and this is another thing too. I mean, for me, I hear things. I, I don't necessarily see things, although it's, that's getting, that's getting um, more prominent, you know, mm -hmm. as I allow, as I, you know, settle in, I, I am starting to see things, uh, images like, like, movies or something but they're still so vague that you know I go oh, I'm not real anyway. um but I'm noticing colors around things a lot more so um I think it's just a gradual yes waking up I agree I and if the veil's getting thinner and you know, those of us who have already acknowledged our gifts and been using them for years, decades, what have you, I think, you know, we're starting to see more now, 
right? So some, right. it depends on where you are and there's nothing wrong with being new to this. If you're just starting no. to understand telepathy or th your third eye or getting messages or hearing things. And there's some of us who have been, no, have had this for decades and now we're starting to learn more different things. Correct. It's yeah. all this wonderful scale that we're on and it doesn't matter where level you are at. Everyone's on their own journey and it's spectacular. Yeah. Yeah. And I, like I you said, know, you, you and I are both starting to, to start to see new things or hear or sure. visualize whatever it is. It's fantastic. Right. Yeah, it is. It's, it's really, really exciting. Um, and, you know, just going back to the path that we are on, um, there was a big chunk of my life that I wasn't paying attention to this at all. Mm -hmm. Um, and, you know, I was focused on, you know, business and making money and doing something with my life. Hmm. Um, and, but then when I re-tapped into it, now I'm thinking, I go, oh, I wish I would have, but I didn't. I'm right here. And it's fantastic, the place that I'm in, in the learning the, 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 where I am in my awareness is, is just awesome. And yes. um, yeah, I could have done this all my life, but this is where I am. Enjoy this time. Uh, that's what I keep telling myself. Don't think about, Oh, I wish I could have. Cause you know, we were I feel, talking about I feel astrology. The same. Yeah. I feel the same. So I wish I was this at 20, let's say, right? I had all this knowledge, but I think that's part of it. So I've always yeah. been psychic. Maybe I haven't exercised it like a muscle my, my whole life, but it's always been there. I get messages at the strangest times about the strangest things. Like yeah. I knew in, in, in grade school, my math teacher was going to walk in one day and say, I'm not your math teacher anymore. It's actually going to be Mr. Whoever is going to be your math teacher. And the next day it happened. Now, there is yes. just no way I would know that, like, you know, and you're a child and you can't talk to anybody about it because no one under my parents don't understand. I said, listen, I dreamt this last night. They're like, no, you didn't. <laughs> OK. Yeah. Right. 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 So, yeah. again, and through teens and, and all that, all the years, I've always had the gift, but exercising it as I am now, I wish I was doing that back then. Right. But I would say this. I think I had to live my life up until now and go through the things I went through to have more empathy, insight, and connection to people and situations because I know so much now because of what I went through in, let's say, the off years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or the, yeah. You know, the low the years, where, years. Yeah. So I think that's part of the training too. I think that's part of our schooling because we have to uh, assimilate and understand earth and what people go through right. to be able to do what we're doing now. So we have a, and I think it's, do. yeah. And I think it's because people, when they're, when they're, um, when we're being raised, we're not taught empathy at all. We're not taught gratitude. I mean, say, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Is that really gratitude? No, it's just, you know, yeah. Being, Say thank you. Be grateful. Yeah, no, any. Yeah. Can right. you imagine so, if you were a child, when I was a child and we were going through this and our parents didn't understand, imagine if we had a Bob who we could go to a school where there was a Bob and a you and an yes. I, and, you know, wow. and can you imagine who we would have been much earlier than we are today? Right. Right. So that's what I'm hoping for in the future. And what I see happening is that, you know, this being part of the curriculum at school or there's a special school. Imagine yeah. if I, if I could have gone to an art school and a psychic school, oh my <laughs> God, art and, and psychic stuff. I would have been, I would have been where I should have been, but instead. You are where you should be. I, you I are know, where I you know. should be. I know, but maybe that's part, maybe I'll create this kind of school or something. Who knows? 
another another life you could do that and i really think that we are laying the foundation this community this awakening community to all this stuff is laying the foundation so that um we can teach the younger generation of not to be afraid not to say no um about these uh experiences that you can't quantify touch and say yes they are real they yeah, are so real i can't tell you how many times parents shut that down they shut it down they dismiss just say, it and you're it's like not real. you but you know it you know it and you dream it and then it happens and they dismiss it and i was just like how do they not understand <laughs> what yeah. do you not but then you slowly start to realize not everyone has what you have, right? And then that's when you start filtering what you say, right? Which shouldn't happen. So hopefully this happen. doesn't with the with children coming forward. Right. They're encouraged right. to talk about their experience. We can keep going on like this no. forever. But I, I think I that's so part cool. of but that's part of it this is. is why it fits in nicely with ET Week, because you and I are these children right now in this journey yeah because we're kind of new feel to this so, kind of <laughs> i know right something just flew right in front of me it was a little something just oh i see it I, an orb i, I just think i is saw it, an orb towards the back of your room maybe it's oh, a there fly. it is again it's sort of between the, maybe it's a fly yeah you danny you might want to clean your house <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm like, what was that? Um, and this is cool. How long have we been talking? Oh, we've been talking for a while. What else? What else? If I could ask uh, one final question, what would that question be to you? And you can pull a card. What would the ET question? Do I pull an ET card? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, because we talked about we talked about the group, we talked about a council. It's interesting because here I have these questions here, and we checked a whole bunch of them off. Oh, just in our yeah. casual um, flow of conversation. Oh, yeah. Here's one. Here's one that I have. What energy energies do you feel um that are different? when you're talking to angels, spirit guides, power animals, and trying to connect to ETs. Is there a difference for you? I do think there is. I feel the reading the cards and tapping into like other people and stuff is, is very light, sort of in the air, uh, not really tangible. Mm -hmm. Very. Well, I got goosebumps thinking about this. But when I'm trying to figure out ETs, it's very palpable. It's real, like a, another person, another body. It's not as light. Don't know what that means. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Maybe because the other stuff is effortless for me. I don't know. But they they feel more they feel more like a another entity, right. another life form, and maybe one that I don't we have I don't know their language or haven't you know what I mean like I, obviously I know humans sure. have been around them for a long time. But do you speak do you speak um, uh, Spanish or Chinese or mm -hmm. Lithuanian? You're right. And I could still tap into to anyone because there's a universal right. language. Yeah, I would say trying to tap into ETs feels heavier than the other stuff, which feels lighter. And I don't know what that means. I know. Yeah. What, what's what's the weight? Yeah. You know, it's I, I, I sense what you're saying. Um, because it, 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 
it's not like floating all around. It's a little bit more solid, even though yes. it's light. It's yes. it, there's it there's a, a a gravitational pull that yes. could keep them on Earth so that we can, but they could just go off too. <laughs> so it's not like they're really heavy. It's just they have a little substance. Yeah. I, I get maybe because it's I don't know is it a different dimension so it feels different I don't know see I'm still learning <laughs> still we're learning we're babies we're babies we're baby. all right what's the card what's the card okay to end this this all segment right. all right and thank you so much Andrea this has been fascinating thank you it has been fascinating it's fun to come on and have a conversation like this I can't wait to watch all the other shows what a brilliant yeah, it's idea. Gonna be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Well, it wasn't my idea. Somebody, somebody oh, yes. implanted it. Oh, wow. Okay. You ready? It says it's, it's funny. It's the only humans in the deck. Star seed, <laughs> star seed, self memories, identity. Maybe oh that's gosh. you and I kind of waking up to this whole thing. Is he getting out of what's he? It's so hard to see. Okay, he so doing? he's sitting on the couch, leaning on the window, looking out. She's sitting here. Um, oh my god, she's playing with her Rubik's Cube, and I have a Rubik's Cube. Maybe that really is you <laughs> and I. And there's a cat, so there's you know, so and he's in green, so maybe that's your he's ET. in green. There's a rainbow, clouds. You know, there's orbs outside the window. Yeah. And he flies in that? In no, the there's no flies. I don't see it. No flies? That's good. That's good. Okay. So this is, this is a really good message. So that's, uh, I think, indicating that we are star seed children. You know, you and I. Uh, and maybe others watching this too. I'm sure. This ET uh, journey is about self memories and identity so maybe that's a little bit what I was tapping into there's no turning back once we see this maybe for you and I I don't know about for right. everyone else because it's going to we're going to remember a bunch of stuff maybe figure out who we are maybe who we were and maybe we've been aliens yeah. before I don't know <laughs> Maybe we've communicated with them because Bob says you, you and I and Bob were all in Atlantis together. Right. Maybe we had connections with them back then and all this is going to come flooding back. Maybe we need to be prepared for all our memories that are going to come flooding back and help uh -huh. us figure ourselves out. Yeah. I, you know, oh. you keep mentioning no turning back and I, I'm like, is that a bad thing? <laughs> do do we do we need to turn? No, but it's but it's profound. It's profound. So if if you see an ET, let's say, you and I, everything will change in our in our in our mind, in the sense yeah. that we will now understand far more than we ever did. Like it's huge. It's a big step. So I think we have to be ready for it. I don't think it's really scary. I think it's probably more overwhelming. I think scary. Well, that's something. Word. Yeah, that's something to to ponder because this whole metaphysical journey for me is one that I can't turn back from, no. and it's I love it. It's so exciting. Yes. Um, it's who I am. So, and right. if, if the ET part is next, then great. I think I just need right. to prepare for that. And maybe that's why we're having this conversation together. Maybe we are in a stage now where we need to prepare and open and get ready because we're going to probably have a lot of memories <laughs> of something. Or a lot of people around us or ETs around us. Or flies. <laughs> flies can be ETs too. At least it didn't hit land on your head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Yeah. Well, you've then given people me would lots go. To think about. Lots Good. to think about. Yeah. Good. Yay. Yay. But uh, well, it's again, a great question for Gail. Ask her if there's something we can do. Like, is it a meditation or is it a 
you know, do you hold up a crystal and then they appear? I don't know. Maybe it's different for everyone. Right. And that's, that is the last question is the, what is the best way for a newbie, a new person to sense them? And I think it's absolutely meditation. It's asking them in, allowing them in, yes. and it can be, you know, staring staring into a crystal and just focusing on the dimensional aspect of the crystal the inner the inner light of it all so but i will ask gail because she she will know yes she will know and I'm if excited. she doesn't i'm, I'm excited her. that this is the next part of our journey and i, I yeah. i'm not you know what i'm gonna do at some point, <laughs> I'm going to start listening to the radio fuzz. The sh- I th- I was going to ask you if you if you did if you still listen to the static on it. Well, I've been afraid to because, and again, I'm using the word afraid. I'm going to say I sensed as a child that this was something that was going to be there was going to be a communication yeah. come through this that I would yeah. I would hear. So I haven't really done it because of, you know, I, so maybe now it's time for me to get the radio, an old radio out and go and see. Yeah. So I, I don't know if I'm just making this up or not, but the first time you said it, I didn't think anything. The second time you said that I'm thinking to myself, did I dream last night or the night before of listening to static? I don't remember my dreams at all, but I'm like, Wait a minute, there was something about static in one of my yeah. dreams. Wow. So now I am going to, because you see, remember the little kid in, in staring in front of the TV? In, in Poltergeist, that yeah. Poltergeist. Very, it's very much like that. Now I had this understanding before that movie came out. So when I saw that movie, I, you know, jumped out of my skin because yeah. I was like, yes, <laughs> but, but she, she was hearing other life forms or whatever. I, I was, got the sense that it's ET, um, yeah. but who knows? And it might come through as a voice, who knows, or a ping. I don't know what it's going to come through as, but All I guess right. I'm going to be listening. Updated. Yeah, I'm going to be listening. Yeah, so um, for for our week in review, I think we need to add um, an ET section. ET section, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Andrea, thank you so much. Always such a joy. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you so much, Danny. All Always right. a pleasure. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, everybody, we'll see you later.